Welcome back, you guys, to the shop. And you know what? We got something today that we've been wanting to do for a while. I happened to find this car off camera. No, no, not the R31, but it is out back. I was just walking through the junkyard off camera, and you know what? I happened to find a Crown Vic, but not your average Crown Vic. As you guys can see, we got four bucket seats in this thing, and pretty much a race tack. Full clean engine bay, I had to pick this thing up, especially when I found out what it was, because I almost walked by it. It's actually Neighbor, and if you guys know what I'm talking about, that is Cletus McFarlane's Neighbor. Nine hundred and fifty-four horsepower. This thing is going to be an absolute monster by the time we're done. And the weird part was when I picked this thing up, it didn't have. It wasn't in too bad a shape, which I was very shocked about. But I'm not going to recreate Cletus's. We're going to make our own. I want this thing to be just the car that. <laughs> You are going to be running from on the highway. I'm talking about faster than a modern day Hellcat, which it already is, but I want fear. We're talking complete unmarked fear. And before we get started, let's clean this thing up a bit. Right. We'll start with the interior. Much better. All right, let's get the outside. It is not in bad shape at all. Huh, I kind of don't want to ruin it now. <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. We don't ruin things here on the channel, but we are going to make it... We're going to make it just tasteful. All right, first, let's straighten the body. And I know some of you are asking right now, where is the Supra? Because the Supra never moves from the shop. That is my car, like the car I built for myself. And, you know, I wish to this day I would have done a video on it because it's more in depth than anything. And it came out great. But the Supra is out back. If I remember correctly, it's it got a new paint job. It's no longer black. <laughs> All right, let's start stripping off some of these parts. That rear bumper, though, is just super aggressive. All right. We are going to make this thing new. But we're going to change it up. We are definitely keeping the bash bar, so don't worry, you guys. That's not going anywhere. Right. Now, what do we have in this thing already? Yeah, we're being powered by standard V8 supercharged do we want to keep it though yeah we want to keep it all right so we're gonna to have to build a new engine for this thing which you know what i'm okay with it it's gonna to have to be done but hey we might even have one well actually I, i'll i'll take that back i actually have one i remember building this engine for like one of our f-150s and well it matches. <laughs> we kind of got that America theme going, and I, I don't hate it. I, I don't hate it. Tell me what you guys think, but she is fully built. Let's get it off the stand. I'm just going to slap this thing in the car. Keep wanting to move to lift one, because that's usually where we're working. It's kind of weird not to have, like, not to have my Supra in... <laughs> <laughs> just just here in the bay. Look at that. She's already complete and we haven't even started the episode really. Alright, let's throw some stuff in here. ECUA. We're in our main shop, so we should have most, if not all, of these parts automatically. 
got the shroud. I do. The ABS module. All right, so we got trans, few exhaust pieces. Oh, windshield washer reservoir. Can't forget that. All right, let's start filling. Yeah, but I was shocked, you guys, because walking through, walking through the junkyard, I just thought this was a normal Crown Vic. I mean, we haven't built one, but then I saw the specs, and I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not put our own spin on neighbor right now? Cletus McFarland is trying to take down my channel. I'm kidding. That man probably likes any builds. But I'm curious what it's going to like let us do, though, because we haven't painted this yet. I don't know if I want to leave it white. I'm kind of thinking like the unmarked gray. And our wheels have to be way more aggressive. We're going to have to do wheels and brakes. Because we got to slow down. Was it originally 900? We we got to be able to slow that down. All right, we're almost topped up on fluids after this. we got to fill the windshield washer reservoir. And we should be good to go. I'm wondering how much power this thing is going to make. <laughs> like, I am curious. There. Come on. There we are. Alright, all fluids are full. Let's get this thing in the air. Fun haver. That's funny. <laughs> ah, come on! <laughs> First, let's start with the gas tank. We are missing, of course, a fuel pump. I don't know why it's always missing a fuel pump. Like, I think I've only ever received one vehicle where the fuel pump was not missing. Right, so we're going to need a custom gearbox for, for our V8. There we go. Didn't think I was going to have those. What looks like we had them from prior builds. I mean, I don't think that that's how that works. The drive shaft is like at the top of the trans. But I won't question it. All right, let's fit the rest of this in here. We have to take out that mid muffler right there. We want a full performance exhaust. So I have one. I need two. All right, let's go to the shop. Tune-up parts. Rear muffler OHV for the V8. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I was like, I kind of questioned myself right there. I was like, is is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> right, nothing in the back. Cool. Looks like our full undercarriage is done already. And of course, if you guys do like these episodes, like, comment, and subscribe. Or if you want to see other things on the channel, let me know. I'll make it happen. We got some stuck bolts. Okay, I wouldn't expect anything less. I mean, it did come from the junk, so I expect it. Alright, so carbon ceramics, or should we just do just vented, drilled, and slotted? I gotta burn through these. We'll just upgrade a little bit. Alright, now, I am curious, though, what I'm gonna pick for wheels and tires on this. Like, do we want to leave... I'll call it the normal Caprice wheel that you see like on, on every cop car, or do we want to go, like... You guys have seen the movie Taxi? Do we want to do something like that? A little more of like a performance wheel, like something that kind of stands out. Oh, 
Oh man, thinking about Taxi just took me back. That movie was kind of, it wasn't like A-list. I mean, great, great acting cast. And that Taxi was just ridiculous. <laughs> oh man. What was it? Jimmy Fallon? Yeah, I think, I think that was the first time I saw Jimmy Fallon in something. And I was like, who is this guy? But he's funny. <laughs> Gotta do one more side. Looks like we're good to go. Alright. Now let's fix the body. So, what do we got for Crown Vic parts in here? Because I want it to be super aggressive. Like I don't want something that's a little more I don't want it average, but I want it aggressive. Oh, we got a little mercury front in there. I want the badge list. Like, like I don't even want like this to kind of come off as being anything, except for just unmarked car. Oh, look at that! We got the door with the keypad. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so door D. We got to pick a front bumper. I'm thinking, I like bumper D. I do. It's got the top bash bar on it, and bumper E is just like, I'm not digging that. And that one's too classic. Right, we got to pick some fenders. I don't want to go wide body, but I don't want to be LX either. So let's go B. Little aggressiveness on the hood. What do you guys think? Let's try it out and see if we like it. We like it. If we don't, we can always return it. Mirrors, body matched mirrors, absolutely. Or actually, we gotta have a spotlight. All right, we'll get the spotlight. Black trim. I don't remember buying a headlight, so I, I just bought that. If I bought it twice, you guys, I am sorry. I will end up selling it. Uh, let's see. Let's pick a rear bumper here. So all we got is factory splitters. The one that we just had, which is the bash bar. And what is that? Not feeling it. All right. Well, we'll keep it aggressive. <laughs> All right. Rear doors. What are we picking? Ooh, we got police cage. Absolutely. Left fenders. Because we're not going wide body. Ooh, we got dash cam. Roof antenna. Unmarked and lights on. Yeah, we, we definitely want the lights on. Black trim. We're just going to keep following this. Tire destroyer badge. Hmm. Like, like I kind of want like the police style, but that tire destroyer? You guys, that is, that's it. <laughs> Trunk right tail light in clear? Okay. We don't want lights on it, though. We want to keep it kind of unassuming. Windshield L or windshield K? Hmm. Let's go windshield, windshield L. All right, let's put this thing together. I'm wondering how it's going to come out, though. All right, so we did keep the same bumper as before. We just took off the Ford logo, because you guys know how we feel. <laughs> I love Fords, or, or exactly, I don't love them, but I do love certain models. Anything like... The original Ford F100? Oh, absolutely. I, I love that thing. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Oh, those lights. Yes. 
Okay, I like the spotlight. Gotta remove that side piece. Yeah, we we definitely need a cage. Rear window. Yep. Alright. If I can get the fitment on this thing perfectly and it does well. Uh, I'm sorry, Hoonicorn. You will no longer be parked in front of my shop. <laughs> I was wondering what, what these lights were. I was like, I was like, there is... I don't remember seeing these, but then I forgot Crown Vicks have them, like, right in the middle. Oh, that is just so aggressive. Look at that. <laughs> and if we paint this the right color, you'll never even notice. We're going to tent the windows. This thing is going to be pretty much a nightmare on wheels. Like, the thing that Hellcats run from. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, come on. There we are. <laughs> right. And then we gotta put the last piece in. I didn't think it was missing, but alright. <laughs> Alright, we should be a hundred percent on the body. Let's check. Frame hundred, body ninety-six. So it seems that we are just missing, well, license plate, which I want to be aggressive. We got to have it be aggressive. I mean, it is a cop car, technically. <laughs> right, do we have a government plate laying anywhere? Free candy inside. No. <laughs> All, as, as tempted as I am. No, we, we can't do it. I know, I know. I feel like that's opposite, but it might throw people off. <laughs> oh god, I'm speeding because I have to poop. That one never gets old. 50 years? No. You know what? I might catch hate for it, but I'm doing it anyway. Because every car in my shop does have a Japanese plate on it. Well, aside from... The showroom piece outside, which is the vehicle we built last episode. I think it's like the Delahaye. No, yeah, that one. That one does not have anything like that on it. Uh, interior, 87. Alright, let's do some interior work here. Just the steering wheel. Something a little less assuming. A little more inspired. The 964 wheel, I don't know. It just goes with everything. I think it's because of, like, the low profile. But it works. Let's see. 100, 100. Interior is 90%. What What are we missing? We clean the interior. So confused. Let's see. See anything? There's a, so there is a seat in there. Oh, we got a baby seat. Oh, G there you go. Baby GTR seat. Now we should be good. Okay. Rest of the parts. We got to pick a wheel and tire setup for this thing. Thinking... Well, first, let's check the fitment. We can go out a little bit. A little comparison. Oh, we got plenty of space to play. Plenty of space. Look at that. Okay. Alright. Are they all the same size? That's the question. 225 60 16s. I think we can do better. We can do better. 25 60 16s. We are putting a slick tire on, on this thing, at least for the rear. <laughs> we'll go 17s. They had 225s. We'll go 245s. Yeah, 50. That should help us like fill the wheel gap a little bit. Because I don't want to go too... You know what? Go to 18. Yeah. 
18 to 45 45 let's try it if we hate it we can always change it little 18s five offset yeah this thing's gonna be a bullet <laughs> like that fitment we cannot achieve on this car but if we could oh man and now you guys see why like like the r31 has never left the shop since we built it that one in the supra those are cons those are constants i mean that oh look at that and that tail light oh man if you guys know you know i am going to upgrade the quality of the tire though no nope, none of this Go over here. Let's get these things installed. I kind of want to do like an all black wheel on this. Another time. <laughs> like, I keep thinking about ideas as I'm building this thing. I'm like, I remember there's certain things that we cannot do. Although, I know with slicks, this thing is just going to be ridiculous. Alright, let's try them out. Let's see how we like it. And how it fits. I think we're on the money. Yeah, I think we're on the money. Right on the money. You know what? We might be able to go a little bit bigger. Hmm. Alright, wait. Let's try the front. See if the front fitment is the same. We could go a little bit bigger. Like, absolutely. But, I want to keep this realistic. So, you know what? Oh, that's that's on the money. We got a little bit of poke on the front. Ah, that's killing me. But, you know what? Fine. Fine, we'll keep it. Now I gotta remember the tire size on this. <laughs> oh man, you guys ever do that? It's like it's like you'll, you'll doubt yourself. You're like, I should not. I'll buy two, not four, and then it turns out it's all good. You're like, damn. <laughs> two forty-five, forty-five, eighteen. All right, let's go back and for. Yep, two forty-five, forty-five, eighteens. We just bought standard race tires for the front. And we'll buy two of these in the 18 with the 5 offset. And we'll be good. Alright, let's go. Nah, can't do that. I'm just going to do this. I was, like, I was like, I always could upgrade the tires, but nah. No point. We only care about the rears. That's where all the power is. Right, our wheels are done. Let's get that classic wheel off there. Nope, that tire will not contain this monster engine. Somebody's telling me that. It just straight slicks.
and there and look at that she's done it's kind of weird that i can't put a hood on this but i know it's modeled after neighbor so you know what that's okay but before we take this thing and go paint it we are going to tent the windows <laughs> and i'm thinking like like we're gonna go dark like, a lot of my cars, they're dark for the sides, but you can see through the front windshield, but they're not too dark. This, let me make it a little different. Uh oh. I still want to be able to see the cop lights, so... Change the front windshield. I don't know why, but that, like, kind of reminds me of, like... It was very, like, Need for Speed. Need for Speed Carbon. Yeah. Can't see the rears, but... Yeah, you should only see it chasing you anyway. <laughs> Alright, we gotta paint this thing. Let's check our condition. We're 100, 100. What are we missing? 98%. Hold on. Hold up now. What am I missing? Alright, so we got everything. Oh, fuse. Fuses. I was like, why are they exposed? Is it there's always a cover on these? Alright, fuse cover B. A one piece I didn't have. I thought I thought I was gonna get to go a whole episode without like wonder worrying. I was like, yes. Awesome. Ninety-nine. Alright, what what now? Now what are we missing? Something tells me it's the clip. Where's... Clip A? Oh, we gotta swap that air filter. We want the most power that we can possibly get. Yeah, so we were... We are missing a clip right there on the left of the air box. Nope, we gotta fix that. That is way too dark for the engine bay. <laughs> Considering I did not paint everything, I think I just had a spare. Just to... Well, let's still put it down. Alright. <laughs> I guess we can't fight it. Right, need one more clip. I do. I hate the clips, but they're necessary. We are a hundred for a hundred. Let's get this thing back to the test path. Make sure wheels are aligned. Sounds like a monster. Oh my god. You guys see the gauges. That is Cletus's face. <laughs> Oh, those gauges are killing me. Right, we are 100% through and through. Check the... Oh, that is way off. That's a lot of positive camber. If it was negative, that's cool. Positive? Uh All right, next we gotta paint this thing. I'm really hoping like the workshop has left us something awesome. They're aligned. It's kind of weird. Like, I kind of like it just like this. Alright, let's get it into the paint shop, which I think super is in there. So it's going to swap places with this. Right, let's see what they got for us. It's the all white. 
Oh, wait a second, you guys. I just noticed something. Okay, so we got door moldings on the rear, but not on the front. Ah, I gotta fix that. That's that, that's gonna drive me nuts. Right, so we're gonna have to put LX doors on our thing. Uh because I I want the code. I want the code reader right there. I hadn't planned to do that, but you know what? Fine. <laughs> Just fine. Second. What kind of strip is that? So it looks like it looks like the strips are actually different. Right, let's pull one door. And we'll see what we're th it's gonna look like. Oh, we need the other door. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we can't have the code on the door. I'm a little sad by that, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> fine. There. Now we match. Whoa, 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 give me back my spotlight. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Alright, now that looks better. I was like, I was like, what is going on with this? Like right as I was about to paint it, I saw it and I was like Yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna work for us. Alright, so we're gonna need this one. Yeah. Put our glass back in. Now we can paint it. Yeah, can't put LX fenders on this. So we're going to be missing our strip. That's okay. Looks much better now. But I wanted that gray color though. So it's not a factory color. Little Matt Chameleon? We wanted a solid. Mess around with a pearl. Alright. See here. A little more roughness. Give it some clear. I want to darken this just a little. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm thinking. I want it like that flat gray that you, you see on the road everywhere. Where it's like, it looks like flat, but it's not flat. Like that. There we go. Or it's got like a little bit of clear, but not too much. Take out some of the, of the metallic flake. Yeah, this is that thing that you see parked on the side of the road that's just like... You're like, I, I feel like I should be careful. <laughs> oh, man. Darken just a little. There we go. We got it. Right, let's check liveries. No, that's the neighbor livery. The LAPD? The LAPD, yeah. And YPD? We got a taxi. What is this? Pennsylvania State Police? You know what? Actually, that one doesn't look bad. Alright. No livery. This just looks super aggressive. Nice. Alright, she's painted. Let's go see how much power this thing is going to make. Head over to the dyno. Now, if let's see, what she make before? She made nine fifty four with eight hundred and sixty five foot pounds. Uh, let's check the digital readout. See how fast can we go here? We're gonna need to add another gear. Uh, 
Maybe we'll make it 232. Let's start this thing. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding. You guys, we just perched 1145 additional. 2,000, that, that's 21, that's 2,100 horsepower right there. 1,890 foot pounds. Yeah, I'm happy we put slicks on the back of this. Oh. Oh my god, this thing is about to be a rocket. Okay. Can't see the seat. We can't see the seat. Okay. All right, so we're gonna have to move back to our shop, and then we can take it out via the map. I was like, I can't sit in it. <laughs> oh my god. There, and there's only one place we can take this thing and have it make sense. We got to go to Purgatory. Otherwise, we're we're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> I am so ready. Oh, that horsepower, though. Oh, man. The wild part is, is we needed an extra gear, and it didn't even hit 200. Oh, that just... <laughs> oh, what the hell? Hold on. If I see this thing on the street, I'm like, no. No. Uh-uh. Alright, let's see. Let's get it. Oh! It's like immediate. I barely tap the throttle. Alright, we're gonna have to ease into it. I can't just full, full flat foot. Oh, this thing is ridiculous. This thing is ridiculous, you guys. Like, she is gone. Like, I'm fully on the throttle. Like, halfway. We should add another gear. Like, I'm curious what we could make this thing do with a few more gears. Let's jump back to the garage, because I am I'm genuinely curious right now, because it is like a rocket. Like, it just keeps on going. We got to 232 miles an hour, and then we topped out. That was it. I want to add two more gears. Two more. See what's possible. We're going to we're going to test our boundary a little bit. Back to the dyno. Hoping it doesn't fall on its face, though. That is... Uh, we can add nine. They got to be close. Thinking... 303? <laughs> 303. Okay. What? I'm a millennial. Don't judge me, you guys. <laughs> See here. Ah. Or If we can get to 400 miles an hour, I will lose it. Right, so we're saved. Move it back to the shop. A 400 mile per hour Crown Vic. Oh, man. This, every department's wet dream right there. I don't think the body could handle that, though. I mean, without proper chassis enforcement, it would rip it apart. Let's try this again. You fast, bro! 
Tour est face à nous Fight We are just going There's no way. No. Oh, that is awesome. I had to correct ourselves a little bit. 420 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, 430. Oh yeah, right on the side of the road, you guys. 430 miles an hour, pretty much. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't. That is, oh man, every, like like I said it once and I'll say it before. That is every department's wet dream. And if you're a car guy like I am, that is your nightmare. <laughs> Unless you're building it, but even then, you're just like, no one could ever know about this. <laughs> I'm happy none of like one of these does not exist at all. If it did, I'd be having night. Like like I don't think I'd be having nightmares. I think, I think I think my car would be having nightmares. Like, like every super on the road would just be like, no, <laughs> just, just no. Oh man, that is, that's just scary. Okay, we're going to move this outside. Just outside. I mean, I love the unicorn in front of the shop, but all right, fine. We'll, we'll switch it out. We'll see what we think. I gotta get that three-quarter view. I'm sorry, y'all. It just doesn't hit. It just doesn't. No, with with the exhaust sitting there in the. Uh, nope. All right, unicorn stays. Unicorn stays. We're gonna put this thing in storage so no one else ever figures out we have it. <laughs> oh my god! But you know what? I'm going to call it there. It's been a great, great episode, you guys. We made something that will probably never be created. I should say that lightly because you can create enough things with enough money and enough time. But I doubt it considering that would literally tear that chassis in half. Not to mention absolute death trap. But build what you can. Anyway, you guys, thank you for joining me in today's episode. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out, y'all. See ya.